What's up guys, Express is on here and I'm here with a completely different style that I usually do. This is just a chrome style for the text type and I just made a lovely banner out of it. This is a completely different style that I usually do. I just thought maybe I'll uh, try different things, try different things, you know, new year, new, thing, new things. So I'm just going to show you how I made this nice little chrome text style on this weird edgy text. If you guys don't want to use this text, there's, you can use this on any text you want. But I just used this text and I'm going to show you how I put it on a different text. Let me just remove all this layer style bedonkers. Normally it just looks like this. They go, it would look like something like this. And then you put the little star effect. So what you want to do is just type your name. I have this font uh, Art Dystopia, but you can have whatever font you want. I think it just fits the Chrome style in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, just type in name like I did. Let's just type name, put that in the middle and they'll already have a nice, nice look. Uh, this, this font. Uh, I used that this font for my 3D projects. It has a nice look at it, I don't know. Uh, just click on bevel and emboss. What you wanna do is just copy this, but I'll just talk over it how you wanna, if it doesn't fit your text, how you wanna put that on your text. So what you wanna do is just the depth you can see if you put it if you put it up high, it creates this little weird thing with job, but then if you put it on zero, it's just this mm, flat doesn't do anything also you can see in your preview what are you creating on your text so what I want to do is just look at it and just trying to find what's what is nice I don't want to like something like this always fits and maybe a bit less there you go you can see if you put it on a six you just have the outer edges but you want to have a little bit more than that and then you're just gonna go to 20 21 something like that and soften it is just like having a blur on top of it but I just normally don't do that just remove it and then the angle is the angle where the light comes from so if you put it on 85 like on top of it there is no light and it doesn't come from anything you want to just put like a 60 or like a 90 or like a 69 on top of it so um, it has a nice look you can also use global light but i'm not sure i'm not a big fan of that you see globe light and then globe light off it's whatever you floats your boat really um I'm mostly put global light off and then trying to look for a nice uh, light. Something like this is pretty nice in my opinion. Now the gloss contour, you can, I use this the one, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it just makes sure you in the middle of your text is white and then the outer text is, see you have a lot of different options uh, with this bevel emboss, but I just take that one. Uh, screen. Um, you can also put this on white, it doesn't really matter that much, but just put it around 80 and then the shadow mode, just see how dark it is, see how dark it becomes, just put it also around 80. Now inner shadow, you want to have a nice little inner shadow, I'm just going to put this on grey or like a black, something like that, and then put the opacity around 55, the angle doesn't really matter, you can put it on top or below. I really love it that it comes from the sides as well and use global light as well. Uh, put the size around 20, I don't know, just like you see the difference. There you go, you can see the difference right there. Put it around 25 and distance, you can, it's really up to you. So there you go, inner glow, not really necessary, but you can do it as well. But don't, just make it a bit subtle, not too much. Uh, satin as well, put that on the normal, on white angle whatever you want uh, but I mostly put it on 60 distance 20 and size 13 outer glow like make sure that the outer glow is visible like you have something like this now what I also want to do is put a gradient overlay on top of everything like a nice gradient from black to white and put the opacity around yeah 40 and you can see if you put it off it just makes it a bit darker only fit the team um, I want to go more to the bevel and emboss because I'm Still not that happy with it. Let me just uh, change the font real quick and I'll show you. It is nice with everything. There you go. There's different font, but it still has like a nice chrome effect. Okay, now what you want to do is just put a hue and saturation on top of it with the color that you like. You can boom like that. Let's also put the brightness and contrast on. Just click on this little thing. Go to brightness contrast. Pop, you have a new layer. Put the contrast a bit up. You can see the difference already. It just pops out the color a bit more. What you want to do is also you can put a gradient map on top of it and it really pops out the darker colors. Also you can have like a, a blue color. Let me show you blue and then you put that blue on a hue 
or a color and you can also put like a color on top of it but uh, just for this tutorial purpose I'm just gonna put it on black and white and just put it on a normal then I have this little grid um, that I just uh, made with a couple of lines and distort that just gonna put that it's there as well I don't know it has a nice look uh, then uh, what you want to do is just copy your text like ctrl J and make that a normal layer just right click and rasterize type and then just right click and rasterize layer style so the layer style is you can't edit it anymore and I just want to make that bigger there you go then you want to put that on luminosity and put the opacity all the way down and then go to filter blur Gaussian blur and blur the fuck out of that and just erase a couple of parts there you go put that on like a five or six like it has a nice little background now um oh that's the previous one then i have a little light on top just put the then just make a new layer go to your brush and have a little nice light on top there you go something like that uh then i have just this butterflies uh random butterflies as with the previous one and then i have the star that i use um i i've done so many tutorials how to make this star but i'll do it again take a brush do a little dab uh, make it small like so maybe a bit smaller like so ctrl j it ctrl t it turn it around like so duplicate it uh merge it together by ctrl e make it a bit smaller and then go to your brush again make your brush a bit smaller how i made this brush smaller is just how hold an alt and click in with your right mouse button click and drag to the left or the right to make it bigger or smaller the hardness is up and down but put the hardness on zero and just put a little dab in the middle and also make them smaller and also put a little another little dab and you have this little nice thing there you go want to merge all those layers together and you can put that on the text just make sure you don't put too much on it but i'm gonna put one here there you go and you can also put like small ones on the edges of uh, any text that you like or love but yeah that's good for now then i have this um normal like like this glitch texture you just can just look up glitch texture that i just put on top and put the layer tile on the hue and then this has like a little nice effect on everything what you can also do so the nice effect goes on your text as well uh, you can go to your text uh, put this gradient map off and then you have this little nice glitch effect on top of your thing as well what I also want to like to do is blur the glitch effect a uh, glitch effect a bit so there you go it is blurred so this doesn't look as sharp as it would if you remove it it still looks nice but with this glitch effect I think has a nice look at it and yeah you can also if, if I if you want to do the final touches you select everything with sh hold and shift and go to the first layer scroll all the way down hold and shift select the bottom one ctrl j ctrl e so you merge everything then you want to select your click layer via cut then duplicate your layer by ctrl j go to filter camera raw filter now here art is the best part when you do chrome effect just zoom in click on this little square go to contrast put the contrast a bit up put the exposure also a bit up and then the shadows a bit down put the clarity a bit up and the vibrance as well what you want to do is go straight to color mixer and you see every color that you have you can just change it to whatever you want i think that doesn't isn't, isn't a nice color you just change the color to it what i also want to do is go to calibration and do primary to the left. duplicate again go to filter camera raw filter again and go to presets and click on matte there you go matte and then put the opacity of that a bit down go to the J again what I also like to do like if for this is, if this is banner blur everything first there you go and then the last thing I want to blur is the text so you want to erase that middle part Control J again uh, Control E Control J again go to filter filter noise and add a bit of noise so you want that like old effect because this chrome is like a 90s like 60s style merge those two again ctrl j go double click go to the blending options and you want to go to the rgb channels and remove the g and the b or like maybe like the g and the b like it has a little blue edge effect 
and there you go that is really it that's the chrome effect style if you guys want to like have this chrome effect style then you just that, that that you have the layer style you just have to apply it to your text make sure this video hits 30 likes and i'll put the link in the description where you can download this um banner uh, and just put your uh, name on it and then the layer style is immediately applied to it so thank you guys for watching this chrome uh tutorial uh next time will be an anime banner i put uh, in my discord is there a way to vote which banner you would want so go to my discord uh server vote what banner you want to see in the tutorial for the anime banner and see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>